Hi everyone, my name is Angie and this is me, my natural habitat. Um, my voice is a bit off today. Um, I'm not sure at which point of the sickness am I at. Am I at the start or the end, but it's been going on for a while. Uh, so today, I think we'll take it easy um, before work gets quite uh, busy for me as well. So we are making this jewelry box. <laughs> so I came across this one on TikTok. Um, and then, being the uh, Taobao master that I am, I found it on Taobao. So, I got I got it, and then um, it's been sitting on my shelf for a while. So today we're finally getting to this, and quite excited to see how it looks like in the end. Because from what I see on the TikTok video, this is a fully functional jewelry box. So let's just get right into it. So um, the box is a lot bigger than I thought um, and it came with a lot of like spare parts so, like it included like scissors and the, all the metal components which I would think it's I mean based on my experience it's actually quite rare but I rarely do projects that requires all these metal parts anyways um, but this was interesting so there's a bunch of metal spare parts um, it's like a piece of wax. Yeah, so this is quite cool.
and we're done. Uh, there's so much to this, like, box. Uh, it, it, it definitely took way longer than I expected, but I guess I should have known. <laughs> um, so, first things first, this is like a really nice touch. So this is actually a locking mechanism. Uh, if I were to pull it open, I can open up the top of the box. Whereas if I were to close it, I can't open it. Like, it's just not... It doesn't want to separate so what it does is there's actually like this teeth over here you can see that pops up uh, so that's what actually is locking up the box um, and then once you open it up everything on the inside uh, so there is a drawer so you can store some things here I believe uh, one of the things that they say you can put here is like an eyeshadow palette um, and then once you open up the drawer, uh, you will pull, you will push the eyeshadow palette up. But uh, it's supposed to push up the two sides as well. But as you can see, certain things are getting stuck. So definitely not the smoothest um, <laughs> movement over here. But uh, for some reason, only the left side is getting stuck. I do feel that when I was building it, the left side was a little bit tighter than the right, so I think that might be what was um, stopping it in that sense. Um, but yeah, so once everything's pushed up, I can open up the sides as well, like storage areas. So this is actually really nice. Um, this drawer, I was a little bit confused when I was building it, like I don't understand why there has to be like two separate layers of drawers I can pull, but looking at this now i get it like part of it is still actually stuck, remained inside the box whereas the drawer is completely out um yeah i'm not sure how much visible it is so yeah the drawer compartment is completely open um and then once i close it up oh i'm supposed to close this first yeah and then once i close it up everything falls back in and if i were to close this then it's locked it's heavy <laughs> it's a very nice weight um, there is a lot that went into this box like I'm surprised yet not you know one of those moments but yeah as with um, every other wood uh, projects that I've done my hands are in pain at this point <laughs> definitely broke a few parts here and there I think you can see in the video at some point I popped out the super glue so this part is broken um, and then I do believe there are a few other places that has a broken part although I think some of them are not as obvious because um, they are hidden inside but this is the most obvious one this part is like broken because I was I, I kind of forgot that this is hollow and I pressed here to push down um, basically to push this piece down into the rest of the box so yeah that was why i broke the way that this box came together is really nice like number one because like the the parts come printed right so like i there's no there's no painting needed um so they can they can do this like really nice details of like the waves and the mountains and the birds flying and so that's really nice and then like this slightly gold shimmerish paint that's a really nice touch as well um and then this little like golden studs that they, they they used to hold pieces in place that was really nice actually like it was a pain to fix but once everything is fixed it looked really nice like it looks very complete um and given that this is like a diy um project like diy toy should i even call it a toy um the the amount of details that came out was really really good although one thing that i don't really like was when I was pulling out these bits, like the these designs from the other side and the side of the box, um, the because this piece of wood is really so thin, like you can see it's actually really wobbly, and um, it was kind of hard to take them out without breaking. Like in fact, this piece has really cracked, um, and that was I think before I I even tried to take it out. So. It would be nice if there's like support you know that's inside and then uh, over here this piece I, I did realize afterwards that I do have a spare so I might want to replace this one um, 
this particular one holding the front of the the drawer so this one i might replace because it doesn't look good it's on the outside and it's like very obviously cracked yeah so this is a very nice touch though that the metal part on, on top of the acrylic um that's very nice i do f hope that they had actually included a portion here where i can put like my own photo <laughs> instead of looking like this stock image although this is the theme of the box like this mountain the waves and the birds like it's, it's consistent with the other parts of the box that has that design um like for example on the cover here yeah so overall this is a very fun project it's like it's it's most of my stuff are like fun but they're not functional like they're just for decorative purposes um although i i don't think i'm actually gonna use this like extra functional like jewelry box but there is function to it you know instead of just something that i keep as a decorative item so yeah this this was this was a really enjoyable project to do it's huge as well <laughs> yeah i did not expect how big this would turn out i do feel that that particular part that i had broke uh i might end up breaking it soon because i will forget to unlock the box before i actually open it so yeah i think i will use this to actually store some like oh, some of my earrings and uh, pins and all that i think that's that has a very nice um oh i just noticed something else i can open the drawer without opening the rest of the box that's very nice i mean i don't get to open it completely but it's possible okay okay yeah so i might i might store some of my earrings and like pins inside here that's like kind of overflowing from the rest of my jewelry box storages um but yeah this is a very nice project quite complicated compared to the other ones that i've done um not as much so as the space station because that one actually include included electronics and soldering stuff so this is a very nice touch and I, I love how the handle is actually made out of metal it's like a metal bar um that makes it a lot more sturdy i think as well as the back here like there are metal bars as support to make sure that you know they don't the wood doesn't break in a sense um yeah very nice project i'm pretty sure you can find this on like other shopping websites other than taobao because most places at least in singapore like we have other shopping platforms that uh basically import stuff from taobao and list it in english so that people who can't understand the language can actually get stuff off of there um so yeah i'm pretty sure if you want to buy one of these and make it yourself you can um there are various options available and yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one And hopefully by then my voice is better.